Good morning traders. I forgot to record the last trade. I had made like uh, um, 20 ticks off the code 1 and uh, I'm trying to find code 2 right now. I've got a short entry in place right here. Am I recording? Yes I am. And um, I got a short position here. I'm trying to find code 2 and I am going for 100 ticks on this trade. Um, I believe that there's a um, relatively decent mathematical chance that uh, this is a code 2 and that uh, this this short position here will be good for 100 ticks. We'll see. We'll see. See how it acts. You know it it may act perfect. It may act terrible. We'll see. It may act somewhere in between. But see what I want to see it do is just basically come down you know just start coming down if it starts doing that then I you know probably got it if it doesn't and it starts going back up then well then obviously I don't have it we shall see but I just made 20 ticks let's see what am I gonna put my stop 20, I'll, I'll hold the 20 tick stop on this. I just made 20 ticks, so I'll use what I just made as my stop. And, uh, you know, I basically would break even if I, my stop gets hit. Otherwise, uh, this is a mathematical calculated risk using the code. I am using a, I am using a code 2 entry. And we'll see if it's confirmed with code 1. Uh, in the interest of time, I'm going to pause this video for a little bit. I will come back and show you the progression and, of course, the outcome of this trade. Just to show you one more time, though, I do have a 100 tick exit on this trade here. 20 tick stop. 100 tick exit going for well this is going for the code 2 we'll see if it's right I'll be back by the way we do have one code 1 short entry in place looking for a second one want to see code 1 say go down and then I'll you know the mathematics will increase that I've got it right If code 1 starts saying go long, then the mathematics are going to be reduced. Unless it says long, goes up a little bit, rolls over, and then says short, short, short. You know, but pretty much go by code 1 into the code 2 trade. Okay, I'll be right back. By the way, I'll wait for this trade to get out about 20 ticks here. And uh, 181. Let me go ahead and prepare it now. It'll be at 49 on the stop. Break even stop. Setting it at 49. Let me wait till it gets down to 81. That'll be 20 ticks. Then I'll place a break even stop on it. This trade's looking good though. It should be good to go. See how it acts from here, but we do have one, two code one short entries on, in place. So, it's doing the right thing so far. I'm going to wait till it gets down to 81 here. It almost made it. And then I'll place a break even stop on the trade and let it go for 100 ticks. The mathematics on this trade for being code 2 is approximately 60%. If, it, if I can get it to come down again and break this level and come down here into the 70s, low 70s, 60s, 
the mathematics will increase to about 70%. And if it gets down into the 50s and 40s, 80%. Then I'll have a 100 tick trade here. See, it's all just a matter of knowing the code, knowing how it works, uh, tracking it every day, you know. You have to track it every day. This is why, for those of you listening to me who are serious about learning how to do this, my code, my charting service will be invaluable to you. Invaluable. Uh, you know, by paying $300 a month for the service, you're going to have me tracking it for you, telling you what, what it's going to be for the next day. I mean, what, what most likely it'll be. And let me go ahead and place the break even stop on it now at uh, 49 even. This is just a way for you to, for me not to have to worry about it now. I can turn my back on it. 49 on the stop. Let me make sure. Got that right. Okay. Okay, stop is in place at 49. It's a way for me to turn my back on this trade if I want and not worry about it. If it comes up and stops me, it does. But if it keeps on going, then I've got it. But let's say it comes up and stops me, then it keeps on going higher. You wouldn't want to hold it, right? So no matter what, that saves you from a bad trade, from a losing trade. And if it's going to be a winner and it just keeps on going, then it's going to be a winner and keeps on going. It'll just take care of itself. Nothing has to be done. But this protects you from a loss. At this point, I wouldn't want to take a loss. See what I'm saying? Don't try to win every trade. You must realize that, you know, you can't do that. I know the code, like the back of my hand, basically, or better, and I can't win every trade. So, you know, don't try to win. I mean, don't think that you're going to win every trade. You got to allow yourself to be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to break even right there. If I'm right, then I should have it. Shouldn't have to do anything from here. Just hang on. Not let go. Now, when I get close to my exit at 48.01, I'm going to start playing defensive and I'll lock in with a break even with a stop and bring it down to lock in profit like I did yesterday. And locked in 70 ticks and got it. I'll do the same thing. But if I didn't and I turned my back on it and I went somewhere, I still have a very good mathematical chance that it'll hit the 100 ticks. So. You know, if I wanted to up the math a little bit, I could uh, change it to 90 ticks or 80 ticks, and that would increase the mathematics. Let's say I want to turn my back on this trade. I could place this at an 80 tick exit right here, and the math would be very high on something like that. 100 ticks reduces it a little bit, but 80 ticks brings it up into the very high range that I would that I would probably hit it. So anyway, I'm just trying to you know trying to help you teach you how to play this for you code traders out there you know it's one thing for you to watch the videos and see me take all these successful trades and everything like that it's another thing for you to actually see it on a daily basis and to see the code and to watch me trade the code and you know I think it's a this is a really good Wait, am I recording? Yes, I am. I gotta keep checking that. I keep forgetting to do it. It's a way for you to learn how to do this every single day. Looks like it's setting up for a code one long entry. I'm just gonna let it go. I don't care if it gives a long, because most likely what it'll do is just come up a little bit and then come down. Remember, code 2 overrides code 1. So if I'm right on this code 2 trade right here, it's going to override all code 1 entries to go the other way. And it's going to keep on going down. So you, it's already you know, in trend mode, you could call it going down. Now it may break that trend a little bit off the code to go long. 
but it's it's just going to keep sliding down. It won't go very far. And if it did come up and hit me and started coming back down, I can always take code one entries again to go back again. Anyway, I'll come back shortly in the interest of time. Don't want to keep recording for too long. And I'll show you the progression and, of course, the outcome of this trade. It's dropping down pretty good here. At this point, I would say I've got it. I've got the code too. Mathematics are very high at this point. I would say they're about, uh, they're at least 70%, if not uh, closer to 80. So it's pretty high right now. Um, I feel good about the trade. It's just a question of, at this point, will it make it the full 100 ticks? And looking at it in retrospect, you know, I think there's a good chance of that, but I'm still going to play defensive when it gets down there. So when I get like, you know, plus 90 ticks, I'll lock in plus 70. If I get, you know, yeah. So we'll try to hit at least 70 today, just like I did yesterday. Plus I made 20, I think it was, yeah, 20 ticks on the first trade. So that would be like 90 ticks, roughly. Or if I hit the 100, I'll hit like 120 today. So we'll just see. But at this point, I believe that I've got it. There still is a mathematical chance that I don't, according to the chart. So, you know. But I think that it looks pretty good. I'd give it a 70% chance right now. I've got it. Got the code too. The more it comes down, obviously, the more the math is going to increase on that. I just need to make it down to 4801. And it's 100 ticks. 4801 from 4901. Anyway, this is how you hit the code 2, everybody. It's not that hard. And like I was saying earlier, my that's why my charting service will be invaluable to you traders out there. Because obviously nobody can see and read the code like I can. Well, I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't say nobody, but very few people could. And... You know, I'm going to be there to tell you every day what I think it's going to do. You know, what, where the code is and what you need to, what you need to look for. So that every day you can just nail it. Just like I'm doing. People say, how do you do that? Well, it's a simple process of tracking it. You just have to track it every day. I mean, if I didn't track it, no, I, I wouldn't know what it would be. There would be no way for me to know. The only way you know is by tracking it. That's what my charting service will do. Track it every day for you. Show you exactly where it's at. All of them. Where they're at. So that you can know where to go for it at. Just like I did today. I got it right yesterday. I got it right. I think I've got it right today. All because I'm tracking it. Otherwise, there would be no way for me to know. So seriously, my charting service to all of you, and I'm going to go far beyond just tracking it. I'm going to teach you all about the code, how to use it, what setups to look for, everything. The whole nine yards, everything. So if you want to learn how to do this and make this serious money, sign up to my charting service. and give you two weeks for free so you can see it for yourself, whether you think it's good or not. It'll be worth every penny of $300 a month to you when you could trade and make $6,000 a month with one contract. $12,000 a month with two contracts. It's worth $300 a month. So anyway, and it's worth your education into knowing how to do this for yourself so that you can make your own money. You don't have to rely on me or anyone else. And you just trade and make your own money. I, I think that's that's more than, than worth it. So anyway, I'm going to come back. Uh, it looks like we do have a code 1 buy entry. 
off the chart, but again, what do I always say in my videos? Code 2 overrides code 1. That's why it's so, it's so valuable to know what code 2 is, so that you know if you're going against code 2. You don't want to take long entries right here, because no matter what, they're not going to be good for very much. So, you know, you, you want to take short entries into code 2. So let's say you weren't already in, but you say, ah, I know where code 2 is. Then you start taking short entries off the code. Just wait for a short entry to come and get in. Anyway, I'm going to come back. Um, I'll pause the video for, for a little bit. I'll come back shortly. But I'm not worried about it going up at all. Got You got to realize that when you're sitting in these code 2 trades, they're going to do this. Just be patient and let it go. Don't give up on the trade. Otherwise, you're not going to hit 100 ticks. I'll be back. I just wanted to show really quick that it's come all the way back up close to my break even stop right there. And we're going to get a code 1 entry here. Looks like it's setting up to be a long. Anyway, if it hits my break even stop, that's what it just did. It's just a classic uh, double top into the. It's a classic double top basically on the chart using the code. It's going to double top off code 2. And um, I'm just going to take another entry to go short. I'm going to take another entry to go short soon using the code and we'll we'll try this dance again. Sometimes this is what you got to do. But uh Anyway, I can see it just hit my stop. It does that often. It's because it just has something to do it you know, it it'll do that 50 40% of the time, 30% of the time. I don't let it bother me. It could even come back down right here. I don't care. I'm just going to use a code entry on it so that I got a precision level entry. And I'll go short on it again. I'll be back in just a few minutes. But you can see how frustrating it can be, you know. I mean, it was all the way down here, right? It had all this profit in it. Then I put my stop at 49, oh, 49 even. And it went to 49.03. Three ticks over my stop. Gets the break even stop. Now it drops all the way down. As a trader, just realize it's it's just the way that the the game works, you know. I mean, every time that happens to you, you'd be like, "Oh man, they just came and got my stop." Blah blah blah. Don't even let it get to you. Just relax and use the code entries on the code on the on the on this thing. If you keep doing that. You'll have the mathematics in your favor. And you'll come out ahead. If you let it get to you, then it doesn't do any good. It'll just ruin your trading. Anyway, I'm going to come back. I still believe code 2 is going to go down. This is just a classic move up right there. I'm going to re-enter and go short here off of code 1. I'll be back. Okay, I have got a uh, code 1 short entry. This one should be good here, right here. And uh, it should just come down now. It made got through making its move, you know, whatever you want to call it, halfway back up. It just, you know, my stop just happened to be right there. No big deal. You know, it was right here. No big deal. Um, I took another precision level entry using the code. Going short. So here we go. This one should be good. This one should be it. It should come down, break below this low, and go down. But what I'm going to do is increase my mathematics. Okay? So my exit is at 47.89 for 100 ticks. Since my 
entry isn't as good as my last entry, I'm going to increase my math, and I'm only going to go for 70 ticks. So, be right back. We'll place the exit down to 19. 48, 19 on the exit. Right there. So, you know, we're going to keep it on this side of the uh, of 48 and just put it for 70 ticks. Should be able to make it, no problem. Okay, I'll be right back in the interest of time. I'm going to pause the video. I need to calculate my stop, too, just in case. I'll be right back. This thing is acting like it's going to maybe do an about face here. If it gives a code 1 entry long, this close to the top of the chart, it would take off. Okay, here we go. It's starting to drop out now. I want to see it just come straight down. Yeah, it's coming straight down now. Should be good to go now. Should be should drop out. Should completely drop out. But it just it was acting like it was gonna maybe give a long entry into code one. If it did that so close to the top here, it would just take off and go the complete opposite direction in what I was thinking. But now that it hasn't done that and it just gave a short entry, that's one two, three short, uh, code one short entries. So we've got three code one short entries now to go short. I'm already short and this should be a continuation now of the code two. So it should make it down to, um, you know, let me see here. What was my original? Uh, my original was at 4901. So it should make it down to the, uh, 40, Eight level 48 about 75 more ticks to go down but I'm just going to take it at the 19 level just to increase my mathematics of taking 70 ticks off the table when I already had 20 tick um, profit so that's like 90 ticks today I'll take see all just math and my math is high if I were to risk it to go down to 48 now the math would reduce a little bit and I don't want to take the chance I just want to get out. I don't want to even have to play a lock-in stop. Nothing. I'm just going to increase my mathematics down to 19. Boom. Take it. All planned out. All mathematical. All having um, a reason for doing everything. A very good reason. And the proof is, am I recording? Yes, I am. And the proof is in the, in what you're seeing. What you're seeing me do. And through my charting service, I'm going to help all of you master this code. Just like I have pretty much mastered it. But you know the charting, even as good as I am, the charting service helps me. It helps me to stay on top of the code at all times. When you get like that, you take this charting service with me for a few months, you'll be like a pro, like a master. And you could just trade along with me for all year long. Just even just keep paying for the charting. That way you can stay on top of it every day, just like I'm going to do. It's not just a service, but it also helps me to stay on top of the code. This takes me a lot of work. A lot of work to produce every day. About four hours of intense work to produce it. But it's going to help you. It's going to help me in my trading. And um, eventually you'll learn it all and be on your own. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video. Again, I'm in another entry to go short in what I believe is the code 2. 
Last time it came up, got my got my break even stop. I don't have one put on yet. Um, I could have put it on there. It went down 20 ticks. Uh, I'm going to wait for it to come down and break one more time. And then I'll place a break even stop on it. And let it go. I'll be back shortly. Okay, it has um, broken down. Broken below the previous low. So I'm going to place a break even stop at 48.88. Forty-eight, eighty-eight, on the stop. So the stop is placed one below for break-even. Allows a little bit of a buffer. Usually break-even with that. Not always. Sometimes you make one. Sometimes you lose one. But it comes close. It all pretty much equals out. So I'm just waiting for this thing to. Move down to 19. Mathematically, it should make it. So, now it's just a matter of seeing if it will or not. So, I'll come back and show you. Well, this thing wants to be a real pain today. It's, um, you know, going up towards my break-even stop again. This is twice in a row. If you look at the 10-minute chart, though, you'll see it's choppy. Chop, chop, chop. A lot of chopping here. Just chopping up and down. Doesn't want to take a direction. And so, you know, it just may be one of those days. Or it may come down and come and break below the slow. Hit my 19 exit, which is right down here. So you see what I'm doing? I'm going down here, <laughs> below where the thing's already at. A lot of chart players would say, man, you're crazy. Yeah? You think? Think I'm crazy? If you knew the code and you knew mathematics, I mean simple, basic math, you know what I mean? You put them together and you'd see why I'm going to go. I'm going to my exits right there. Why there's a good chance it's going to make it to, uh, let's see here, well, down to here even, 48, which was my original uh, target, all the way down here. But it's a game of math and code. Because the code is math and math and yeah, the code is math. I know it sounds crazy. But it's real. Okay, let me go take a look here at something. Let's see where we are. This is going to be important right here, whether it's going to give a short or a long or what. If it gives a short, we're in good shape. It'll just come down. If it gives a long, then it's going to throw it all off again. It should give a short. If it does, good shape. It'll most likely break this right here and continue to go down. And I'll most likely have the code too. But it's not giving up without a, you know, a fight here. It's choppy. And just remember in, in retrospect where my position's at and where I'm calling it to go to. It's not something that a chart player would look at and, tr and try to go for something like that. 
but a code player like me will. And there's a mathematical reason why it should make it down there. Imagine that. Imagine that kind of power. Imagine what I just said is true. Imagine that kind of power. There is nothing else out there that you could get that kind of power with except for this. If there was, I would be trading it. But there isn't anything else out there like this. And there's a, there's a reason for all of this. And the reason itself is quite remarkable. And if it wasn't for that reason, this would not be possible. If this were a stock, like any stock in the stock market, this would not be possible. It would be mathematically impossible. 100%. Nobody in the world could do what I'm doing if this was a stock. Not possible. And I've been, I have was trained by one of the best traders that you could ever find. <clears throat> and granted, he is so good, he could have a 90% success rate on his trading in the stock market. <laughs> you won't find anybody who can do that. But he could. But he'd only take one trade a day. He can't take all these trades that I can take. And he can't hit exits already calculated in advance <laughs> like I can do. And there's a reason for that. And it's a very good and a very powerful reason. Boy, this thing is choppy. Take a look at the 10 minute. It's just chopping up and down. Really, really choppy here. But hopefully, it'll get through with this chop and it'll eventually come down here and break below this low and hit my exit of 19 for 70 ticks. There's no guarantee of that. But the mathematics is in my favor. And remember what I always say, always play the math. You just have to know what the math is. Once you know what the math is, then you can always play it. And then you'll come out ahead. There's no doubt about that. But how would you know to get out? Just take this profit and run. I don't know what it's going to do. Just take this profit and run. Well, mathematics. But obviously you need to know what the math is. I do, so I know that the math says it's going to go right here. To 19 or even lower. It's doing it. It's a lot more choppy than what I'd like to see. But that doesn't mean it changes the math any. Just means I'm not going to get there quickly. It also means it's more risky, I would say, of it chopping up to me. Again, hitting my, my uh, stop off the chop. It makes it more risky by default because it's going up and down too much. Other times it just drop out and go hit it really quick and be done. Anyway, I'll come back. Okay, I managed to hang on right there. My stop is up here. And it went up to 81 again. And now it's dropping out. So hopefully that was the last one. And now it's getting ready just to come on down now. But I'm still hanging on. Still going for it. It's a risky trade now because it's just a lot of chop. So, but, the only way to hit them is to go for them. I went for the last one, got me break even. I'm going for this one, it still may come up and get me break even. But this is called going for them, even on a day when it's choppy like this. And it's going to go for them every day. Oh, there it goes, break even again. It doesn't want to be nice to me today. 
Let's see here. Yeah. Okay, let me um, calculate the code and I'm going to take another entry. Alright, let's try this dance again. It keeps coming up and hitting my break even stop up there. But um, I'm back in it. Let's see. Let me calculate my exit really quick. I'll be right back. You know, I'm going to reduce the mathematics on this even more on this one. And I'm going to take it down to 34. Just go for 50. Because it's a choppy day and it may stay within the range of the chart. This will keep me within the range of the 10 minute chart. Still get me out. So it's a bit choppy. It might just do something like that. So it's a way to increase the math. So I'll change it to 34 on the exit. Okay. Oops. Wrong one. 48.34. on the exit. There's the exit. Okay, so first time you, you try and don't succeed. Second time you try and don't succeed. What do they say about the third time? Third time's the charm, right? Here we go. Here comes the dropout. This is a lesson in not giving up on a good trade. And you know, I've seen this chart many times. Many, 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 many times. You know. But the way that I play it, I promise you, is the right way. You may say, oh, I could have just gotten out down there and gotten back in, and gotten out down there and gotten back in. Yeah. But what about all the other charts where it just goes down, keeps going? You would have gotten out early. And believe me, it does that more than it does this. So it's better to play that way and take advantage of it always and play it this way where you, you would, you know, you'd only to be able to take advantage of it part of the time. So that's why you see me play it the way that I play it. And remember, I've been doing this for years. So even though it may not have looked too pretty today, as you see me do this over time, you'll see that the way I play it is, is the best way. If there was a, a better way mathematically, I would have discovered it already. So, anyway, it should make it down to the 34, no problem. It should be a 50 tick uh, trade, no problem. Um, it's just a way for me to increase the math. It'll probably still make it down to 48. But since it's a choppy day, let me take a look at the 10 minute chart. You'll see it's very choppy today. You know, look at the way it moved before. Right? And then now it's some real hard up and down chop. We I mean, look at just this one line right here, how big it is, the chop. So, you know, it's stuck within this range right here. The code 2 says it's going to break that range. And what's my exit? 34. My exit's right here at 34. So it's right above where this bottom is. Keeps me within the range of the chart. But it'll probably break that range and come down to 48. But the mathematics is less for it to do that than it is for it to go right here. So I'm playing the higher math. In other words, I'm just trying to increase my mathematics. 
and any, like I keep t t telling you, anytime that you can keep your math high, you're doing good. So I'm giving up profit today to go for the higher math because of the chop. Otherwise, on the other days, it wouldn't be super choppy. We'd have already made the exit now. We'd already be out. In other words, just be an easy day. Just basically keep going. Anyway, it's getting close. Getting close just has to break right there and go down an extra 20 ticks. I got it. I'll be back shortly to show you the progression and of course the outcome of this trade. A lot of you are thinking, probably thinking to yourselves, why don't you just exit today and take that profit? Mm. I could. But again, it's a game of mathematics. And you always want to play the math. The code that I teach will teach you the math behind all of this. So that you could do what I'm doing. Get as good as, as I am. Maybe even better. But there is a mathematical possibility that it won't go down and hit my 34 tick exit. Or 34, exit at 34 right down there, and it'll come up and hit my break even stop again. I mean, there is a mathematical possibility of that happening. You know, trading is a game of some risk, but if you know the math behind all the risk, you always want to play the math. Even when it's wrong, you still want to always play the math. That's, that's how you come out ahead. And as you can see, this thing is choppy as can be. It's just up and down chop. It's making me want to get out. In fact, if I get a code uh, one long entry, I'm just going to exit. I'm about tired of playing this game with this thing. It's just chop city. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where am I at? 84? 74, 64, 54 is 30 ticks. Oh, man. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, I don't want to give up on the third try, you know? Because the third try often is the right one, but sometimes you do have to go four and five times. I'm hoping this isn't going to be one of those days, because it might. Because it's really choppy. And I've seen it get chopped for quite a while before it finally will make its move. So I could get caught into this. I believe this thing. It's doing the same pattern. It's doing the same exact pattern. I'm going to get out. Yeah, I'm going to get out. If it ticks one tick higher to 68, I'm just going to jump out. Because it's doing the same exact thing. It just wants to come up to this top area up here. And then it'll come back down again. It's going to keep doing that until it finally drops out. Okay, I'm going to jump out. It goes up that 68. I'll come back. All right, sure enough, it went up to the 68. I just jumped out. It's following the same exact pattern as it keeps doing. You know, it, it's got me twice now. It's doing the same exact thing right now off the same code. Off the same exact code even. 
So if it continues to do what it did before, it's going to come back up again to this level up here. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah it's right up at the f a little shy of 49 levels. So that's like right here. Yeah, 48.99. And let it right about here. Come up, let's say, into the high 80s again. If it continues with the same pattern. So far, it looks like it is. That's why I jumped out, just in case. You know... Yeah, it just give me a hard time today. As a trader, you always have to just go with the flow, swing with the punches, go with the punches, you know? Just every day is going to be different. Some days easy, some days hard, some days a struggle. Like today. I'm not even going to, you know, it, it doesn't mean nothing to me. So. But what I am going to do is target this thing to short it again off this level using the code using the code 1 and I'll short it again and then I'll be prepared to hold it again because eventually it's going to make its move and it's going to drop and it's going to go down to that level I said down to let's say um, 48.20 level to 48 between 48 and 48.20 it should go down to so if we can short it up here again at like let's say 80 we can make an extra 60 ticks and I'll use code 1 on it to do that with Okay, I'll be back. See what I mean by it going back up again? And the thing is, is it's doing it off the same code every time. And it's also going to go down off the same code, too. So I know right where to, you know, short it at. So, uh, you know, all you got to do is just watch the pattern and you can see what to do in the codes. So, um, I'll short it again off the right code. And hopefully we can get about, I don't know, maybe 85 or so on the entry to go short. And um, and then I'll, I'll try to hold that one to see if maybe that will be the one. And it probably will. There's a good chance. There's a reason for that too. But there is a good chance that it will. The mathematics will go up. It will increase. That that will be the one where it's going to come down from there all the way down. It won't go back up again. So I'll come back shortly, take another trade. But as you can see, it's, you know, frustrating day. I could have had a lot of profit many times and didn't get it. You know, it's a price you pay for going for it. But day isn't over with yet. I'll be back. I had to go do something for a second, and I just got back, and um, it's just dropping out now. It's too late. Too late. Entry gone. So my mistake then today was to get out when I got out. I could have just held it. It did go up, but it did finally make its move right there. Uh, mathematically, um, it's going to go now. So it, it might give me another entry into the code. It might stick around this level before it completely drops. It might, and if it does, I'll go ahead and take it. It might even pop back up again into the code. And if it does, I'll go ahead and take it short. Otherwise, it's too late. It's just going to drop now. It's too risky right here because I don't have a, a precision code entry. It could pop back up, could drop out. You know, I'm not going to risk it. Um, just the the mistake is not go not holding it on the third try. On the third try, I should have just held it and not let it go, no matter what. Not gotten out, no matter what, and I would make it. I'd be on my way to 34 right now, and uh, I'd make the 50 ticks anyway. So I, I you know I made a mistake. It happens. The thing is not to beat yourself up about it and try to remember it for the next time around. I already knew it, but I thought that I was going to be slick and I was going to catch it on the next one and it decided to just go. And that's the price that I'm going to pay. I, it might give me an entry here into the code again. If it does, I'm going to take it short. Probably at this point, I would say we can make it down to the 48 level. So that's our target. At least 48.20.
that's our target for sure so maybe we can get like a 60 entry to go short and take it down 40 ticks down to 20 that's not a bad trade on the day 40 more ticks up so let's try it if it gives it to us I'll be back this thing is a little too risky right here it's real choppy on the 10 minute and it's giving not let's see here okay it is a okay it is a clear signal to go long it's a code one entry to go long here uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait and see what it does and look for another entry to go short yeah at this point though I would need it to go back up to uh, 48 at the high 80s so I would need it needed to go up to about here 4888 for another short entry use it into the code assuming if it does that I'm gonna take it I'm targeting that trade now if it doesn't do it and it just sort of drops out from here it's I'm gonna miss it I'm just gonna let it go because it's too risky down here to take my entry was up here higher originally my entry was original entry was at 4901 you know that's where I should be at right now still looking for the trade but it got me by three ticks so you know it's just the way it worked out just like yesterday I missed it by seven ticks today it got me by three ticks it's just coincidence it's just the way the math is rolling right now but believe me if that won't continue and the math will roll in my favor and I'll just hit him and hit him and hit him and hit him and I won't I won't be doing this. So I'm not going to let it bother me because I know from experience what's going to happen. Just like I'm afraid this thing is going to go ahead and drop out on me now. But it's too choppy and too risky to take in here. If I get a good entry into the code, I'll take it. Otherwise, I missed it for today, and I'm just going to end the day with uh, almost up tw uh, 40 ticks. So. Not a not a terrible day, but I should have and could have done a whole lot better. So I'll be back if I get that entry. Otherwise, I'll come back and close out this video for today and get it up to YouTube. And tomorrow's a new day. Okay, I'm back. I got busy there for a while, but uh, I'm back. It's 9:54 a.m. my time, Pacific Standard Time. So it's late. And it's nothing but chop today. You know, it came close to my my target, which is uh, 4888 to go short. And it came real close right there. That's probably the top right there. It's probably going to come down now. And it'll probably go down to the 48 level, like I said, or 4820, like I said previously. It's just today is one of those choppy days where it's going to take all day to do it. Or it may just be too choppy today and it may not go down that far so by default this trade is now more risky because of the chop and because you know it may not even go down there to begin with now it probably would I'd say it's got a 50-50 chance at this point that it'll it'll go down there or it won't go down there not much of a you always got a 50-50 chance of almost anything so it's not really a, a very good trade anymore so I'm not gonna personally risk it to go into this trade I took three chances on it and I didn't get it and um, I also didn't get my entry of 88 it may still come but I doubt it at this point point. and if it did at this point it probably wouldn't be any good probably would go back the other way and go up now so it's not worth the risk it's just a really choppy day. If you look at this, let's take a look at the 10 minute real quick just to show you. I mean, it's, you know, it's as bad as choppy as you can get. Let's see, the USA session is right here. You know, it's really choppy today. Very, very, very choppy. So, you know, on a day like today is a good day to just eh, pass it up. Because tomorrow is a whole new day, and chances are, it won't be choppy like that. It'll come out doing something, whether it go down or whether it go up, but it'll do something other than that. Or 
it might be choppy again. It might stay choppy again for a few days because we're down here, you know, somewhere in this free fall of oil. It's either going to continue to go down or it's going to go up or it may chop here for a little bit and go and make these lines going up and down. And then finally, like it did here, see all this chop right there? It may do something similar to that right now and do some chop. So every day is a new day though. And you can uh, use the code to know what kind of a day it is. And that's something that I'm going to teach in the charting service that I'm going to start. I'm going to take this to a whole new level. I'm going to put all my intellectual effort into this and really teach how the code really works and how to take advantage of it and how to profit from it on a very in-depth scientific level. Which is still very simple, but it's still scientific in nature by identifying things, labeling things, classifying things, giving instruction on what to do about when you see this particular one that's already been labeled and classified, and then how do you handle it, or how do you trade it. That type of um, level of instruction where anybody can come in and really start to learn this, just like, you know, learn how this all works. Because, I mean, let's face it, there's a lot of money to be made here. A lot of money at this market. You just have to know how to get your entries right. Imagine if you just could have shorted somewhere in there. How many times did you have a chance to short? You know, a thousand times? Just imagine if you had a precision level entry system where you could short on one of those times, get it right, and then just hold it. Put a break even stop on it and then just hold it. It just keeps going. All you had to do was just not give up on the trade and just would have kept going. The point is, is there's a lot of opportunity. Because just like this thing has gone down, oil is going to go up. Whether it goes down to $10 a barrel first, it's going to go up. And guess what? Then it's going to go down. And guess what? Then it's going to go up. That's the beautiful thing about oil is that it moves around. You know, I don't see it much over there, but it moves. It'll go up just as easy, well, pretty much, than it, than it, as it goes down. Although going down is a great trade. Always has been. Anyway, it doesn't matter what oil does. goes up or down. goes to $10 or, or $150. It doesn't matter. You still make the same amount of money from it, either way. So, the point is that the, the, this instrument has a lot of opportunity. You just have to learn how to use the code properly. How to read it, how to use it, and how to profit from it. Like I do. I discovered this in 2006. It's almost been 10 years. Coming up on 10 years. Imagine how, you know. people who have learned this that have never traded before in their lives and have learned how to do this and learned to trade the right way to begin with and have gone on to become really super successful. So, I, there's no doubt about it that this is the best trading system that you can get. Anyway, I am going to be back tomorrow to do some more trading and I uh, hope you traders are out there doing well with the oil market. And we'll be back tomorrow, and let's see if the chop is gone. Let's hit a 100 tick trade tomorrow. Should be a piece of cake. Okay, be back tomorrow. Happy trading out there, traders.